What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing the Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda. Alright! So I got my setup here. We got our three items up on the hot buttons there. That will allow us to control everything we need to control in order to sail the seven seas. That's why I usually like to have them assigned. We got the Wind Waker, the grappling hook, and the sail. And we need to go south. And south we shall go. I've decided that I'm not gonna buzz what all about too much between the uh, various places we need to go at this point. Mostly because I uh, just don't wanna mess with it, to be honest. There's a lot of. Oh, hello. There's a lot of fish in the ocean. Boy, hold it right there, small fry. <laughs> I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there, but it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart, if you ask me. <laughs> What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. <laughs> Jeez. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what, to, <laughs> what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. Hmm? Oh god. He drew a picture! There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here Dragon Roots Island. Yeah, real peculiar. I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, Small Fry. Unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, Small Fry. But I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island, along with any info that might be of use to you. Highly recommended. Alright. Oh, are you there, you kingly red lion guy? That's it! I've repaid my debt! I'm done! You take care of the rest! Huh. Interesting. I wonder how he, uh, got that fish indebted to him. Oh, goodbye, dragon roost. You phallus, you. Onward to our next locale. I think the one that we're pointing towards here is not actually the one you can see in the distance there. I don't think it's actually the next location for us. It's just one we're going to go past. Because, oh, look at that. Totally missed it. If you look at the sea chart, we've got quite a ways to go before we get to our next island here. Oh, wow. It's a volcano! Oh, Alright, I see another fish. We better, uh, put some bait out in the water for him. We can get a picture of this island. Come here, you. Om nom 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 nom. Okay. Oi, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information about this island? Start by opening up your sea chart. Fire Mountain. Show enough. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah, well they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by great balls of fire. Goodness gracious. If you want to get inside, you want to go to the island one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden. Ooh, or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look, Fry. That's all the info I got. Yep, 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 yep. And then he just says, hey, if you want any more, you gotta feed me again. That's all he's got, pretty much. Yep. Fire Mountain. Fire Mountain. It's Fire Mountain. Oh, that's an interesting island. I wonder if our boat will let us go that far to the side. We shall see. I don't think this is an island we can actually do anything with yet, but whatever. Looks like way off in the distance there, you can see... Is that a seagull flying around over there? Now oh, we better be careful. Gosh, you can see dragon from far away, can't you? Yeah, I feel like our boat is about to stop us, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it is too soon for us to venture in this direction. We should sail directly to our next destination. <coughs> Sorry, you can't go that way. Ah, oh, well, crap. I uh, guess we'll just head south then. Yeah, seagull flying around. Sometimes they follow your boat. Pretty cool. 
think I see the next island on the horizon there. I never sail with the camera in its actual position like this, because you can't see what the hell you're doing. I always back the camera out like this. I don't know why. I've always preferred the wide shot camera angles like this, where... Ooh, it's getting dark. I don't know if this is good. Remember this. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Look at these. We got some cyclones on the water ahead of us. Just gotta watch out. I don't know if these actually will mess you up or if they'll just change your direction. Oh! Those will mess you up. That's an Octorok there. That's what they look like in Wind Waker. And we don't have anything really to uh, take a shot at them with, so... Best to just avoid them for now. Look at all the money! Yeah, my wallet's full. I'm not even going to bother finishing up with that. Ah! Here we go. Stop! Hey guys! No, oh, dang it! I didn't want to get out of the boat. I wanted to talk to them! Can I, uh... I keep forgetting you can't talk to the three dudes on the end. You gotta go talk to their boss. Hey, buddy. Yeah. yeah! Bob! You collecting treasure, Bob? To see where you can find treasure, open up your sea chart. If you compare your island chart with your treasure chart, it's easy to figure out. The secret is hauling it up with your grappling hook. It takes patience, Bob. A lot of first-time treasure hunters give up pretty quickly because they don't get how it works, but they're missing out. It's really not that hard. Mm-hmm. So that's how it works. <laughs> Alright. I think we've already talked to you, dude. Yeah, I was right. This is one of the... Oh, no, this is an island I was looking at the other day. But there was at one point I said... Is that the fish over there? Something's, somebody's splashing about. Yeah, there he is. Cool. Hang on, let me actually let's... Let's turn around real fast. I want to show you guys this island before we sail off. I'm going to sort of take our time heading to the next destination. The uh, King of Red Lions won't let us take any interesting detours, but... I can at least show you a couple of the places along the way here. There will be a large portion of the LP later where we go sailing about exploring random islands. I'd say about a third of this game or more is side questing. But up here, we have... Can I get a first person view? Some kind of weird statue. Ooh, the L is real. What? Anyway, what does this sign down here say? Hello? To reach Bomb Island, head south from here. Eh, alright. That's all that's left for us there, so I suppose we'll sail away. Nothing, nothing, nothing to do here. Zoonk. Let's go talk to that fish before we leave, though, so we can get a picture. Er, what is that? Oh, I, I heard the music start playing when the uh, fish was nearby, and I thought he was an enemy. I was like, what? It's just the Octorok over there. This is the most ominous sea chart, like, filling I've ever had. Like, the Octoroks are looming and the ominous music is playing. Eastern Triangle Island. Yeah, we were looking off to the, in the distance the other time. It was Northern Triangle Island that I was looking at. Tell me, Fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? <laughs> Look at the background. That is hilarious. The Octoroks like, hey, I'm trying to fight you over here. Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think you finally met your match... If you've got a fairy with you, then you've, got, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable-looking submarine floating on the sea. Look there. That's all the info I've got. Ah, interesting. So he says that if we want to get another bottle, we should go and look in a submarine. He said we should go south until we see a miserable-looking miserable submarine. I think there's another island over here. The two islands that you see in the distance there, with the little speck in between them, that's our goal. That's where we're headed. Oh, another one of these obstacle courses, huh? There's really no point, honestly. I've already got my wallet full of rupees, so... I'm not gaining anything from this. I'm looking around. Being able to find that submarine would actually be kind of nice. I'd like to get a second bottle. They're just so darn useful. Probably the most overpowered item in, in Zelda games, to be sure. Faux show. I got a no faux show. Bom, 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 bom. Come on, buddy. Fill in my sea chart. <laughs> Hoy, small fry. Bomb island. Alrighty then. 
Just like the sign said. You ought to come sail these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, Fry. <laughs> anyway, and then they always say, you gotta throw some more bait in the water. I can't go fight an evil on an empty stomach. What have we got in here? Let's have a look-see. I'm surprised the King of the Lions even lets us off the boat. Or, lets us off of him. <laughs> Weird. One way or the other. It, it's interesting, he lets us run around on these islands along the way. Oh, dancing mailbox. Dancing mailbox. Good evening! Letters for Poncho, we have one letter. Here's your letter. Jeez, how did the postman know I was going to be here? To my son's superior. Thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you'll accept it all the same. I politely request your continued kindness toward my son, Kashiko, Beto's mother. Oh, it's the intern's mom. You got a piece of heart! Collect four of these complete a heart container. More heart containers equals more life. Sweet. I guess that's the first one on a new container, because I didn't tell me how many we had. Yep. Yeah, have I even shown you guys this yet? You got these... You got a lot of subscreens. I, I don't think... That might be the first time I've seen that subscreen in this LP, actually. Yeah, you, get, you got the items one, of course. And here you have quest status, where you can look at the songs you've learned, see how many pieces of heart you have towards your next container, your number of treasure charts, what pearls you have, and then your interesting stuff is on the side over here. And there's this mysterious empty triangle. I'm not sure what's going to go there. Anyway, down here there's a dude looking through a telescope! Oh! To think that over there, there would be such a container! What? I gotta get out my telescope and see what he's looking at. Well, would you look at that? It's a freaking beginning submarine. I say we go investigate. Not sure if the King of Red Lions will let us go that far uh, astray, but it may actually be near enough in the path that he's cool with us going there. So let's have a look and let's have a, we'll make an attempt at getting over there. It's just this away. I think it'll be close enough that we'll be able to get to it. That would be nice. We already mapped this island, right? Yep. Cool. So the very next square is our destination, just over there. Probably won't get there until the next video, but whatevs. Can you see the halos in the water sometimes? Yeah, look at this. Sweet as. Oh, let's go to a stop. Get my fighting gear back out here. So I can steal items from these guys. Oh, is he taking a nap? Oops. I broke his pottery. It's so cool that some of them fight with telescopes. That's just neat. Ah, yeah, look at this. We all live in a yellow submarine. Oh, I remember this place. This one wasn't much fun. Oh, just gotta do some fighting. Now, if I'm if I can find a rat hole, I'd like to appease them. Oh, chill out, guys. Did one of them just hit the other one? I think they did. Neither one of them hit me. Wow. I love also the uh, the musical additions that you get when you're fighting interesting enemies in this game. It's just such a great flourish to add to the game when you get those additional... that satisfaction! It's half the fun of landing a jump attack is getting the, to hear that sound. Do, 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 do. Good job. I guess the rats aren't required enemies. Let's see what we got. Show sure enough, it's an empty bottle. <laughs> but more importantly, you got a bottle! Hee 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 hee. Uh... Get out of here. I'm trying to not get one of these rats to knock me off as a ladder. <laughs> I knew they were going to have a shot at it. Sweet! Well, that's all there is to that. As far as I know. King of Red Lion's like, oh, can we get going? I'm going to take a nap. Alrighty. Come on. Put you on autopilot. Let's get to that last island, shall we? Looks like we got a little lookout platform here. I suppose we might as well stop and steal all the loot. Why not? My wallet's full, but we can go ahead and er, stop. Ah, uh, I love the first thing in the morning theme. Oh, you can't. Oh, I went, I went up the ladder too fast. I started to play the enemies are near music a little too soon, I think. Go off the edge? Yeah. 
I don't really need any of his loot. Uh, once I've already taken their joy pendant, they don't really have much left for me. Oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on for a second now. Now, this might be rupees, but on the off chance that it's a treasure chart, I'm going to go ahead and take it. Yeah, rupees. Whatever. What a pleasant surprise! What a waste of money! Alright, Red Lion dude, who's even firing those cannons up there anymore? We just killed all the people on top of the platform. Or rather, we threw them into the sea. It's a bit more humane. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I love when the sea gets nice and flat like that. You can't, there's not that white pattern across it that there usually is. The game looks neat. It's stormy out, isn't it? Strange. Yeah, look at there. Just as we thought. I think we need to go to this one on the right. I'm not sure. Or <laughs> rather the left. It looks like there's more whirlwinds around here, too. Hey! Hey! Yes, do you, do you not see what rises up from the horizon? Yeah, only for like the past 20 minutes, dude. That is where you must go, Poncho, the Forest Haven. Ooh, I like the music. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it actually is. It is a sacred place. Inside this grotto you will find the spirit of the earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Ferore's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution. Caution. Ooh. Children at play. Slow children at play. Link. I'm looking at you, Link. Oh! Alright. I just wanted to buy some more bait. Thank you! We'll use a few of those on the way down. Why not? Nothing else goes in the bait bag, pretty much. So... You know. Might as well stay stocked up. Get up there. Come on, Link. You're better than that. Oh, can I seriously not climb up over here? Ugh! Sometimes it's a little difficult to convince Link to climb out of the water. If the platform is just slightly too high, he won't grab on it and climb out. He'll just swim against it. Oh, we got a new enemy, enemy up here. These are... Boko Babas. And if you hit him with your sling, or <laughs> your grappling hook, you can get a Boko Baba seed. Put it in your spoils bag. This is the source of the evil plant's magic. Perhaps you can find someone. If you can find someone to cook it up, the magic will be unleashed. Yeah, you can get it made into a potion that will actually be a magical restorative device. It's pretty awesome. Of course, we don't actually uh, have the capacity to use magic yet. But of course, you know, it's a Zelda game. We're gonna get some magic with stuff eventually. And when we do, it'll be those Bokobaba seeds that make potions to recharge everything. Yeah, with these guys, you don't really need to worry too much about the grappling hook because they almost always drop a Bokobaba seed when they die. It might actually be a guaranteed thing. So even when you get one of these pearls, it still puts a Bokobaba seed in it, so... Yeah, wouldn't really worry about those. Honestly, they're not that valuable. I always end up with way too many of them because the potion that they make only restores magic. It doesn't restore anything else. And there are other potions in the game that restore magic and health or, or do even more. So, you know. You gotta have the grappling hook, of course, in order to get across there. Derp! Don't go in the water. The current's too strong. Derp! Well, right. You don't actually have to fight any of the enemies there either. You can kind of just go past, pretty much. It's pretty much just cool to just go, man. Ain't gotta say hi to nobody. Hop over here, hop over there. Ooh, oh, you're scared, aren't you? I think it's funny that when you get close to the off rocks, they're like, uh, uh-uh, I'm messing with this guy. Now this one you probably want to take care of. Just put your shield up and hit him in the face with his own seed, or whatever it is that they shoot out of their mouths at you. I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. Get that rupee. I like that the rupee makes ripples in the water. It's a nice touch, Nintendo. It's the kind of stuff you don't have to add, but when you do, it looks good. 